The owners of Signal Peak, who operate an underground coal mine near Roundup, are sentenced in federal court to a million dollars for violating safety and health standards. But now residents and property owners, including a ranching operation that are near that mine, say they're cautious that the company will actually change its ways. The major coal mining operation accused of four violations that span from dumping mine waste into the ground to failing to report workplace injuries. They haven't shown care for the people that work there, the environment or their neighbors. Local rancher Steve Charter, who's one of the founding members of the Northern Plains Resource Council, says his ranching operation has felt the impacts of the mine. Things like blocking us access to water. He says his well, which used to pump six gallons of water a minute, now gets less than one. It means there's no water for his cows. When coal first came to Montana, Bull Mountains is one of the first places. And we never abs said, no, you can't mine, but we said, if you mine, you have to do it right and you have to repair your damages. And that's been an ongoing fight for 50 years. As for others, they're concerned the company won't change its ethics as they look to expand mining operations. We might as well sell out to them. My place will be worthless. Pat Teeley says it's concerning that Signal Peak owners went right downstairs after sentencing to pay that million dollar fine. Obviously, the, the real owners of this operation uh, are unaffected if they can just throw out a million dollars and walk away. Signal Peak, though, maintains the charges come from a few bad actors who were terminated immediately following the violations, also saying the company is a victim, suffering millions in losses. In court, Judge Tim Cavan placed Signal Peak on a three-year probation. An attorney for the company, John Sullivan, says they get it. But when it comes to his ranch, Charter hopes a new month will bring a new relationship with Signal Peak. As of like 1st of February, there's new leadership at the mine. And we are very hopeful that they could start changing some of this behavior and be, be more responsible. In Billings, Andrea Lutz, MTN News.